day. So we can take a total and how many of the present should be subtract. What is column? Tens column, hundreds column. In the school, total number of students eight hundred and seventy nine. How many of the present in a rainy day? Five hundred eighty eight. You can make a column. Then in the total students, how many of the present we should subtract? We get the absentees. We will get the absentees number. Come to ones column first. Why we are doing subtraction? Come to ones column first. Hide the other numbers. Just you can check nine and eight. Which is the bigger one? Nine is bigger than eight. In the top, bigger number is there. So no problem. Directly we can do the subtraction. Nine minus eight. Nine in the mind, eight on your finger. Before you should count and find out nine minus eight, one. Then come to tens place. Check the numbers seven and eight. The smaller number in the top. Smaller number in the top, bigger number in the down means we should do the borrowing. So in in this hundred column, eight is there. We can get one from this number. Eight minus one seven. You can write there and whatever the number you are, just you can cross out and write it there. Okay? Don't do here. Now you can subtract seventeen minus eight. Seventeen in the mind. Eight on your finger. Before seventeen. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. And come to 100's column, 7, 5. Bigger number in the top, no problem, 7 minus 5, 2. So, how many of the students that absent that day? 290 by students. Okay, total number you can write it on the top. How many of the present you can write? And we should find the absentees. Come to next sum. In your shop, there were 242 food, footballs are there. And 137 footballs were sold in a week. How many footballs were left? What I said? Left difference. Then present one, one part is there. Another part they will ask means we should do the subtraction. Just how many total footballs in a shop? You can write like a column. One scholar, ten scholar, hundred scholar. Two hundred and forty-two. Total number of footballs? Two hundred and forty-two. And how many of them sold in the week? One hundred and thirty-seven. Rest of the footballs, how many of them in our shop? We should find. So, come to one column, check the number 2 and 7 are there. 2 is smaller than 7, so smaller number in the top. So, do the borrowing. Take it 1 from this number, 4 minus 1, 3. You can write whatever the number, just cross it and write it there. 12 minus but now we have 12 ones. Now, can we do no? Yes. 12 minus 7. 12 in the mind. 7 on your finger. Before 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So, 5. We can write it in the ones column. And in the tens column, check the numbers. 3, 3. The same number. The number subtracted from the same number means. We will get the answer 0. And 2 minus 1, 1. So, how many footballs are left in the shop? 105. If you want, again you can do the verification also. Okay. How should we do the verification? This is what? Minion. This is what? Subtrahan. This is what? Difference. I said now. Minion. Subtrahan. Difference. We should find the minion. Minion means subtrahan plus difference. 137. 
plus 105, make a column, do the addition. We can get the mind and the same number means our answer is correct. This is what verification also. 7 plus 5, 7 in the mind, 5 on your finger, after 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we can write 2 and 1 carry over. 0, no value. So, 3 plus 1, 4. 1 plus 1, 2. So, the total number we get is no. So, our answer is correct. The rest of the footballs are left in, in a shop 105. Verification also we did. If you want, you do the verification also. The 10th sum, the cost of a mobile set is rupees. Sign up, rupees. 953 row and purchase with for rupees 817 how much money did the shopkeeper loss how much in a total amount the cost of a mobile how much make a 1s column 10s column 100s column cost of a mobile 953 and row and purchase with for 817 so how much amount shopkeeper lose or broken get the profit both also same only okay then now do the check checking 3 and 7 so 7 is the bigger number in the down so smaller number in the top means we should do the borrowing do the borrowing you can write it there. Whatever number you can cross it and write it there. 13 minus 7. 13 in the mind. 7 on your finger. Before 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And 4 and 1. So bigger number in the top. No problem. Directly we can do the subtraction. 4 minus 1, 3. 9 minus 8. 1. So, how much rupees shopkeeper lost or Rohan got, got a profit? Rupees 136. Understand? Just read the sum, understand the sum, then you can do, the, do it. 11th one. In your shop, there were 349 things of pace. 185 of them were damaged. So in a total means 349. And how many of them damaged? 185. You can make a column. At points column, tens column, hundreds column. Total number and damaged ones. Then what they will ask? How many things were in good condition? One part they will give. In a total itself. Half of the part in another one, then they will ask about the good condition things. Okay, half it damage and another good condition things they will ask. So, come to one scholar, 9 and 5, bigger number on the top. So, no problem, directly we can do the subtraction. 9 minus 5, 9 in the mind, 5 on your finger, before 9. Okay, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. And in the 10th column, 4 H. Smaller number in the top. So, what do you do? Yes, do the borrowing. Very good. Do the borrowing. 14 minus 8. Now, can we can do. Okay. Then, 14 in the mind. 8 on your finger. Before 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Then 2 minus 1, 1. So, how many things are in good condition? 164. Read well the sum. Just you can understand what are the total parts. Write it in the top. In each sum, total amount or numbers, you can write it in the upper number. And what are another list part? They will give now that one you have to write it in the down. The rest of the difference we can find out now that will be the answer for the sum. Practice then children. Thank you.